Good afternoon, Rudy Khan here with TechOut. Today, Apple has released iOS 13 Beta 3 to developers, um, and it came up, came around, uh, came in at around 700 megabytes for me on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, coming from Beta 2. Um, not too many changes here. We do have um, some new widgets, the uh, clock widget. We do have a little pop-up here telling you how to edit the home screen, um, so you can tap down here to edit your different um, pages. Um, so that little pop-up. Uh, was new for the first time doing that. Um, we do have the new clock widget right here, so you can add the world clock. Um, you can do it in three different sizes, and you can also add a big icon for um, a certain city that you would like. I'm not going to add that right now, but that is new. We also do have a new music icon. I don't have uh, the music app on my phone because I don't really listen to music, um, but there is a new music icon. Um, one of the big bugs has been fixed with the storage issues. Um, so if we go to iPhone storage, we actually have a little bit um, different screen here. Um, we have a search menu, um, so you can search for different apps now. I don't think that was there before. Um, if you go into messages to review large attachments, that no longer crashes the app. Um, so you can go into there now. That used to crash the app uh, on beta 1, and I think beta 2 as well. Um, it would crash when trying to do that. Also, other is not taking up 20 some gigs of storage now, um, so you get a lot of storage back. Um, so if you're having issues with storage on beta 1 and 2, beta 3 definitely fixes that, um, which is very good news. That was one of the biggest bugs people were complaining about. Um, and one of the things that I find found interesting on the release notes is that 3D Touch is disabled in beta 3. Um, I thought that had gone away a long time ago, um, and I'm assuming they are talking about 3D Touch devices because I can still haptic touch on icons, and that still works just fine. Um, obviously the iPhone 11 Pro Max doesn't have 3D Touch hardware, but apparently for devices that do um, have 3D Touch hardware still on them, um, that is disabled in Beta 3, so I guess you'll be using Haptic Touch. Um, not really too sure about that because I thought they disabled, like I said, I thought they disabled 3D Touch a long time ago, um, but apparently not. So that is iOS 13 Beta 3, uh, iOS 14 Beta 3, sorry. Um, that is what's new, the bug fixes and stuff like that, really all I've seen so far. Um, again, if I find any new features or anything like that, that will be next week in the follow-up video as well as battery life and performance. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.